So day 58, back out on trail. I'm sure you can probably still hear the traffic noise behind me. Just leaving town. Daleville was uh, really nice. The Super 8 was super nice. I was pleasantly surprised with that. Pretty handy to everything too. There was a Mexican restaurant right out front. Uh, grocery store and uh, outfitter. It was just down the road a ways. Not, not a bad walk at all. Breakfast is a little challenging. Uh, <laughs> Because Cracker Barrel and McDonald's and all of them were kind of down across the highway and stuff. And I didn't, especially the first thing in the morning with morning traffic, I just didn't want to walk down through there. So yesterday I got a shuttle over to Cracker Barrel. That worked out pretty good. But she wasn't available this morning. So uh, I just picked up a couple things at the local convenience store and called it good. So yeah, it's about 10 o'clock now. I didn't rush out of the hotel. Uh, just gonna wander down the trail until five or six like we usually do and find a spot. I didn't see any particular, you know, uh, views shown on the maps or anything, but like usual, we'll find something along the way, I'm sure. That's interesting to look at. So anyways, we'll continue on down the trail and see what we can get done today. There, I think we're gonna be crossing either underneath or over, I'm not sure which, uh, this highway here shortly. So we should start getting away from this traffic noise, which will be nice. <laughs> Under it is. They're starting to get away from the traffic noise a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty humid out today. It rained pretty decent there yesterday for a little while. And now it's starting to heat up. So, <laughs> of course, that brings out the humidity. It's humid out, that's for sure, but going downhill now, so that's good. Once in a while, a little breeze picks up. That feels really good. Uh, yeah, I wish I'd brought out a beer, but I couldn't find a porter or a stout in a can. And those are what I really like to lug out with me. Those are pretty difficult to find sometimes. They had to stop and adjust stuff a little bit in my backpack. It developed a squeak, which was getting really annoying. <laughs> It's a little thing like that, walking down the trail all quiet and stuff, and squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, it's old quick, so. Anyways, I think it stopped for the moment, anyways. Starting to rumble a little bit. <laughs> I know there was chances of thunder showers this afternoon. Dang, that was a <laughs> bad thunder shower. Holy crap. Yeah, I saw her, uh, it was about a mile and a half from that shelter. I happened to check my update the weather and said severe thunderstorm warning, take cover. <laughs> so, uh, hail and 
60 mile per hour winds and all this other stuff they were talking about. Never did see any hail, but uh, yeah, wind picked up pretty good for a little bit there. And sure as hell poured for a little while, but seems to have let up at the moment, so I'm moving on. Uh, it may come back around 6 or so with a little bit more rain, they're saying, but we'll see. I'm, I mean, I'm soaked anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter at this point. I just wanted to get on the cover because of the hail and all that, so... That thunder shower did cool things off a little bit, for the moment anyways. I'm sure they'll heat back up, but <laughs> we'll take it while it lasts. Kind of a pretty area here. Bunch of lily of, of the valley around, which smells really, really good. Uh, it's five o'clock. <laughs> I wouldn't mind going a little bit further, but oh god, there's a couple beautiful spots right in there. Uh, oh, I'm probably going to be kicking myself, but I think I'm going to like to go a little bit further, another hour or so maybe. Like I say, I'd probably be kicking myself, but who knows? Might be something even better down the trail, or might not be anything. <laughs> well, there'll be something, but. Anyways, decision made. We're continuing on a ways further. Out here on the road, and looks like we got a pretty good view out here. There, 15 and a half miles. I'm happy with that, especially for not getting out of town till what time was I can't remember, like 10 or something like that. And then hiding out for an hour <laughs> from that thunder, thunder shower and stuff. So I think that's pretty darn good. Train's pretty mellow at the moment, so that really, really helps. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's cooled off nice. That's That seems good. And I guess it is gonna rain some tonight and first thing in the morning, last I checked, so. I'm not sure what time we'll hit the trail tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see how bad it's raining and go from there. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a night, get the tarp all set up, ready to crawl into the sleeping bag and start editing today's video. So thanks once again, guys, for watching, following along and all that. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.